Hi, in this video I will be demonstrating how you can install WordPress.org on your local machine on localhost. I assume that you already have installed XAMPP on your local machine. If not, please watch my video how to install XAMPP 2019 on a Mac. So the first step is to go to the website www.wordpress.org. Good, and here you will see the call to action button on the right corner. So if you click here, that says get WordPress please. Now you have the option to download WordPress and I will be clicking on the blue call to action button that says WordPress version 5.1 and now it will ask me to save the file so I will say save the file. Good. So the file will be downloaded. The next step is to go and start XAMPP which is my cross-platform web server and I will go and start XAMPP by clicking on this icon. And as you, you see, we have MySQL database is up and running. It's green. And Apache, which is my local web server, it's also green. So the next step is to unextract my files that I just downloaded. So go to your folder downloads and unextract WordPress-5.1. So double click on it. And now the files are unextracted. As you see, I have the folder WordPress space free. This means that I've already installed or unextracted a similar folder on my downloads folder. So I will now rename this folder and I will rename this folder to WordPress Seal. Good. And the next step is now to go open your XAMPP. Click on the welcome tab here and go and find the button that says go to application. I will copy this URL here and this time I will open the same URL with Chrome. So go to Chrome and pass in this local host slash dashboard. Good. So this is the web page we see now. Please now go and click on this icon in the right corner that says PHP My Admin. Now you will have a tool, a visual tool, where you can manage the database on XAMPP. So this is the MySQL database. It's because WordPress needs a database and here we have the option to create a database. Click on the database icon, it says database here and please give it a name and you will have to type in a database name and I will use the same name as my folder for the WordPress so it was WordPress SEO and this will become my database name now go and click on create button and now it says the database was created and you can see it on the left side here it says that we have already created this WordPress SEO database and also here we can see the same thing now we are done so the next step is go to finder or explore and open the, the folder that you have just downloaded and that you have unextracted. Now please go and find a configuration file. So here we see a default configuration file that we need to configure. So here we need to say, I will actually rename the file. I will delete the word dash sample and I will just keep wp-config.php. Next, right click on the file and say open the file in brackets. Good. And here in brackets, will have to go and add a few lines so please go down you see on line 23 it says the database name of WordPress please now insert the name that we just created for two minutes ago it was WordPress seal so this is the database name next is if you have a XAMPP which is our local server you need to put in a database name and I know that the default database username is root on XAMPP and the password here is empty so you don't have to do anything you just have to delete the content inside the two single quotation marks keep the local host and this is okay so far scroll a little bit down and on line 44 you see we have here a URL please copy this URL it ends on the word salt slash copy the URL this will generate a unique key that you need to override so you need to copy the URL here that ends on salt Go to your, your browser and insert this URL. This will now generate a code that you need to copy. So copy all what you see on the screen, copy. And go back to brackets, your editor, and overwrite line 49 to line 56. Good. Next here, this is the table prefix. Typically when you have only one database available and you want to have more than one version of WordPress installed on your machine, you will have to make different table prefix. So I will now change the table prefix to WordPress SEO. So I'll keep the shortcut WP for WordPress and then just write 
CAO for search engine optimization here and if you are on a Mac so the, the last instruction here is only if you are on a Mac we need to add some extra code of lines here this is only for Mac people so if you were on a Windows machine don't you don't have to do the last step now so I will make a comment here this step is only for Mac users with WordPress on local host. So we will have to add a new line that begins with the word define and a begin end parenthesis and a semicolon. Inside here we have to insert two parameters. The first one will be fs on the line method and in the second parameter I will write the word direct and this will actually again I will write a comment this will allow me to download themes and plugins on my local host on on uh, this will allow me to download themes in WordPress on my local host. Good. So now we're good to go. Save the file now and go to downloads now. And now we need to move this folder to htdocs. So copy the folder, right click and say copy. And now we need to go to the root folder for XAMPP and it's inside programs, XAMPP, Haiti Docs, and here I will insert my WordPress folder. Good. So the next step is now try to see if you can open WordPress first time on your local host. So I will have to write a local host slash WordPress sale slash enter and now you will see a screen that says install WordPress and you will and I will keep the default settings here that says English and say continue and now I will give my WordPress a site title and it will be WordPress seal and I will make a username and I will put in password good I'll keep the default password and here I will type my email address and this says search engine visibility discourage search engines from indexing this site so this will this allow search engines to crawl your website because it's not ready yet and I will click on the last final button that says install WordPress. And now I will log in for the first time on WordPress. So here we see the end result. WordPress is now installed on your local machine.